So, you want to know how much money I make selling my photos as stock photography? Well, you're in luck because this episode is about how much money I made selling my images in May of 2023. Now, before we really get into it, just a reminder, keep this as a hobby. For me, I use this money to pay for my travels around the world. So it's really important to me that I have good numbers every month. And this month, I had some pretty good numbers. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the best-selling images. Now, I'm going to start off here with Big Stock Photo. Just so you guys know, Big Stock Photo, normally it's just $0.25 cents an image, a sale. So when you get a dollar for an image, it's actually kind of a big deal there. So this $1 sale came from Big Stock Photo. I took this when I created an episode about using Lightroom's intersecting mask feature. Now, the funny thing is I showed both the unedited uh, photo and this edited photo, the one that sold to the photography club here in our community. And everybody thought that the unedited one was the best one. That one rarely ever sells. This is the one that sells at least a few times a month. So it shows you that good editing will, will create appealing photography to potential buyers. Let's take a look at 123RF. Now, usually 123RF is what I would refer to as a bottom feeder. All right, I really don't get a lot of income from them, but this is a $3.24 image of a sorrel cactus silhouetted against the setting sun. This next image came from Shutterstock, and it came from Japan. More appropriately, it came from the Kurama Terra Temple. Now, this temple, I took this picture on my last day in Kyoto in the fall, and it was quite a climb to get up to this particular spot, but it was so worth it because at that altitude, the fall colors were really starting to come out. Now, this particular image was just simply a bamboo water spigot with water coming out of it into a water basin, a very peaceful, very zen-like image. Now I sell this image several times, but it was the top seller on Shutterstock for $3.78. Now make sure you stay tuned till the end when I show you the numbers, how much I made from each stock site because something funny happened at Shutterstock this last month. All right, the top selling image this month, you all seen it, it came from Adobe Stock. This, once again, is my top selling image out on Adobe Stock. It's the US Capitol. For this particular image, I got $7.15. Video. Yes, we had a couple of video sales this month. So on Adobe, I had a $4.20 video sale. Uh, this is just simply a morning drone flight over Lake Pleasant. And I saw a guy fishing on their boat all by themselves. So I circled the drone around, again, $4.20 for this video. The highest selling video this month came from Getty Images. Now this is actually one of the first videos with my drone I ever took, and I was really just experimenting around. And what gets me is it was done in broad daylight, which a lot of, a lot of you know, photographs you don't shoot in the middle of the day. But anyhow, this is just simply a drone descending over the Sonoran Desert. Now I continue to work to put more video up online because of the higher sales potential, but it does take a little bit more effort to process all this video and then also to upload it. So it is a bit of a slower process, but I'm getting through my backlog of videos and hopefully this will help me earn a lot more money moving into the future. Let's take a look at the totals based on the agency. So once again, Pond5, Pon how many goose eggs? Zero, nothing, zero sales, zero profits. Wow. <laughs> I know some of you make money on these sites. I just don't. A uh, can stock photo is continuing the struggles it had. I think around November of last year, I really saw sales plummet. I had one sale for 35 cents on can stock photo. Deposit photo, again, kind of struggling there. Six sales, and I had $1.18 in profits. Dreams time, well, dreams time, again, not doing great. Four sales, $1.40 in profit. And big stock photo, well, I had 14 sales and $4.25. Yeah, I know, don't make a lot on the sites, do we? That's okay. 
it, the reason why I keep uploading to these sites is that they're very easy for me to upload. Very little required for me to do after the fact. Big stock photo is one of the filters I use. If a photo is rejected there, I don't upload it to any other site so I can keep a higher approval rating, particularly on the sites that matter. Now, 123RF is sitting at number four this month, which is very rare. I had, uh, let's see, 18 sales and I got a total of $10.69 on 123RF. Getty, once again, Getty Images comes in at number three with 41 sales and $27.12. And Shutterstock is at number two, 59 sales, $45.92. And of course, once again, thank you, Adobe Stock, 157 sales, and I had $105.75 in commission. Now, let's talk about Shutterstock before I show you. I got a couple of neat figures I've been working on here that kind of gauge progress. So I'm going to show that to you in just a minute here. So this is what happened at Shutterstock. I had an unusually high commission of $45.92. Now, if you guys go back about two and a half years or look at this video here, you're going to see when Shutterstock literally backhanded all of their contributors and slashed our commissions. I remember reading the message from them. They have a glorious and glamorous new commission schedule out that's gonna open all kinds of opportunities for us to make money. No, it did it. Anytime a corporation starts off with that, it's going to be bad. And it was. Our commissions were slashed. No matter how many sales you've made for Shutterstock in the past, that's it. They're slashing your commissions. So let's get back to this $27.32 I received from the contributor fund. What is the contributor fund? Well, Shutterstock partnered with OpenAI to use Shutterstock's images to train this artificial intelligence. All the photos, the millions of photos they have, have title, description, and keywords, among some other metadata in there. And that was used to train OpenAI. So you get a commission. And every six months, they pay a commission from the contributor fund based on how many of your images were used in training. Now, Shutterstock is also creating their own uh, image generative tool. And they're using those images to train as well, and you also get a commission. You only get commission for the training. If any of your data ends up in those images that are generated, you get nothing. So they're just taken from us and they're going to use it to profit even more. Thank you, Shutterstock, once again. I've got two more things to show you. Here is the historical data for May. This is the second best profit-wise May that I've ever had. 300 sales. $196.66. So what I decided to do here, I noticed that I'm been getting quite a number, a lot more sales than usual, but my profits seem to be just hugging under $200 a month. So I decided to run a little graph here. Now this is the data over the last five years. The blue line is the number of sales and the orange line is the profit. Now take a look back here. So we know Shutterstock starting around, I believe it was January of uh, January of 2022 is when they started slashing our commissions. And you can see the blue line definitely went above and stayed for the most part above the profits. But take a look over here. So I can see that again, I'm getting a lot more sales, but my profits are almost staying flat. So what does this tell me? Well, it says that Shutterstock is clearly making a lot more sales, but because of our slash commissions, we are not making any more profit. It also tells me that I have been uploading enough images to kind of counteract this and keep at least my sales flat as opposed to falling, my profits from falling. It also tells me that I'm probably at the point where I'm going to start seeing my profits slowly creep up because I'm getting enough images out there to kind of counteract the bad commission coming out of Shutterstock. So I just want to say thank you to Adobe Stock for keeping a respectable commission for their contributors. And I hope that you guys do not go down the path that Shutterstock has gone down. And like I said, backhand all of us. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. 
Enjoy your travels, enjoy your photography, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.